I don't think we're going to have any trouble scaring them homesteaders out. All you have to do is to point a gun at them and they'll run like jackrabbits. Uh, you're wasting your time, Dad. The only way to get rid of them land grabbers is to riddle their hides. Clay, some of these days that itchy trigger finger of yours is going to get you into a heap of trouble. I don't want to hear any more of this killer talk. The men elected me as head of the Cattlemen's Association because they believed in my advice. And we're going to handle this thing like real men. just the same as the rest of them. Your last warning. Get out of Paradise Valley before sundown. Who is it? It's Bruce Manning. I'm mighty glad it's you, Marshal. We just received another one of those warnings. been able to find out anything? You know we're in our rights. I know you are, Ma. But tracing a note like this ain't easy. Any one of the ranchers in the whole valley could have written it. They're all together in this movement to run you homesteaders out. I reckon if Lem Morgan could be to speak, we might find out something. Now, don't be too hasty, Ma. While Morgan is dead set against you, he generally deals out in the open. I don't see why there should be so much trouble. There's plenty of land here for everybody. And the few acres we have shouldn't cause any hard feelings. I should think this could be settled in a friendly way. I have to pass Morgan's ranch on my way back to town. I'll drop in and have another talk with him. Thanks. Don't worry, Ma. Everything will be all right. What does it say, Dad? Ah, uh, don't mean a thing, son.
Well, there's another homesteader that won't settle in Paradise Valley. <laughs> yeah. What happened? What's wrong? I don't know. We ran into a sign down the road. To turn back. When we refused, they opened fire on us from ambush. The murderers! They shot down my boy! We didn't have a chance. Need to be friendly with people who deliberately come into this valley and steal my land? It ain't your land. It belongs to the government. More powder's right, Mr. Morgan. Paradise Valley ain't free range anymore. The government's declared it closed range, and anybody with a government lease is free to come in here and settle. Come on. We're wasting our time here. Let's be going. I'm warning you that you're making a mistake. You can't buck the government. And that's what you'll be doing if you raise a hand against these homesteaders. Looks like me and my future son-in-law are going to tangle. Mr. Morgan, I have no personal feelings in this matter. I don't make the law, I'll do it. But if the law fails us, we'll give bullet for bullet before we'll run. You have my word. Like we're on opposite sides of the fence, Ann. Bruce, is Dad really in the room? Yes, Ann, he is. Times are changing. Your father can't realize it. Meddling with the government is serious business. If fighting your father means fighting you, I'd rather turn in my star. Bruce, you mustn't do that. Well, that would look as if you were... I know I'd be resigning under fire, running away. And even if I did hand in my star, it wouldn't do any good. The government would send in another man. Let's not give up hope, Ruth. Hope so.
I'll get this all of you. It was self-defense. He came in here looking for trouble, Marshal, and drew first. It won't do, Blake. I saw you plant the gun. Your lying won't help Clay any. It might even get you into trouble. going to do now. I'm going to arrest Clay Morgan for murder, Sam. Bruce Manning, he's on his way out to the ranch to arrest him now. Just telephone me from town. I only shot in self-defense, Dad. That, that's far for me. Come in, he asked for it. He drew first. He did. Are you telling me the truth? What? It's true. He's come for you, Clay. But if what you've told me is the truth, there's nothing to be afraid of. ready to come with me, Clay. What for? Shooting in self-defense is no crime. I wish that was the truth, Mr. Morgan, but unfortunately it isn't. It is. It's true. I had three witnesses. Keenan and Morgan were there. I know Blake and the others tried to cover you, Clay, but whatever they might say can't change what I saw with my own eyes. I was at the window and I saw you beat it out the door, and I saw Blake plant the gun in the dead man's hand. It ain't true. Dad, it ain't true. 
Mr. Morgan, Clay shot down an unarmed man. I don't believe it. Clay has never lied to me, and no man could ever make me believe that a son of mine would be guilty of a thing like that. That's for the law to decide. Come on, Clay, let's get going. I won't go, I tell you, I won't go! You can't take him, Bruce. Bruce, he's my brother. But, Ann, I have no choice. You're not taking him, Marshal. Interfering with the law is bad business, Mr. Morgan. Go, Clay. Come with me, Clay, or you'll never stand trial. What do you want? Some for your arm. I'll find him, Morgan, and when I do, I'll give bullet for bullet. 